cool! <laughs> he must be the smartest ape in the history of the world. Love to have him as a pet. He could do my homework. <laughs> Hello. Your grandfather has something that belongs to this ape. A banana-shaped lodestone. You must get the lodestone here immediately. It's what Augustus would have wanted. Does he remind you of someone? Like who? I'm not sure why, but I've got a bad feeling about this. What are we waiting for? Let's find the banana stone. Hey, look! I found it! So let's go! How to manipulate them. That's how I know they're on their way to Africa right now. That and the transponder I put on their plane. <laughs> 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 Wellington, you and Grandpa got to know this ape quite well? Oh, indeed, Mistress Tan. Manyon was a most interesting fellow. Manyon? How'd you find out his name? We simply asked him. He can talk? Indeed. Your grandfather taught him. He was a very fast learner. Why was Grandpa so interested in him? Because Banyan is from the Lost World, and your grandfather had been trying to find a way into that Lost World for most of his life. Africa? A talking ape? A Lost World? Can this get any better? You stupid monkey! Do what I say, when I say! Or when you get round to it. Hi, we got here as fast as we could. Have you got the lodestone? Huh? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Hi, Manyon. How are you? I'm Tara. Maybe it's not Manyon. You! Show the people how smart you are. Do the cue. Hey, leave him alone. They come a very long way to see you. We'll take it from here. Augustus Skinner was our grandfather. I have the signal, boss. It's showtime. Don't let them hear you, you hiccuping nincompoop. We think he would want us to return something to you. Block topper in disguise. Thought he looked familiar. Uh, 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 Two of Obsidian Stone's smartest goons. So Stone has to be behind this. The Loud Stone! Great work, Skinners. <laughs> Fell for it twice. Well, the bigger they are, the more often they fall. Or something like that. 
the crocodile enclosure. <gasps> oh, I am deeply in your debt. Dude, you really can talk. Yes, and now that I have this, I would at last be able to go home to the lost world. Can we come? Grandpa Skinner would have wanted us to go, like for a holiday. Do you know what I'm going to do with you now, Hick? Take you on a holiday. <laughs> really, boss? To the Lost World! Great! Wait, what is the Lost World? Hick! So, Manion, Obsidian Stone was after you and the Lodestone? Yes, so I left it with your grandfather for safekeeping. What happened then? I managed to escape Stone, but not the zookeepers. You were captured? Yes, and when I learned Augustus had returned home with the Lodestone, I realized the zoo was as safe a place as anywhere away from Stone. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. Dude, watch the hair! You got it, bro! Try to keep your pants on, Tarzan. The lodestone is glowing. I know. It means we are very close. The stone allows you to open a portal between worlds, doesn't it? Yes, and it has another power. It can make the creatures of the lost world do anything you tell them to. It is very powerful. Must have been a pretty big bird. It was one of those prehistoric pterodactyls, and someone was falling. There are many pterodactyls in the lost world. Cool. I mean, uh oh. Never fear. Obsidian stone cannot possibly enter the lost world without this. This is the portal? Nothing a Skinner can't handle. Right, Charles? It's kind of a long way down. Jump exactly when I say. to be home. Ah! Look, look! Don't oh, Saber-toothed tigers? Wow! So this is kind of a museum where extinct creatures end up. But a museum where they're alive! Hoo-wee! <laughs> and there's more. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you dork. Boss, how will we get the lodestone off of them? Relax, you witless coward. We're up against a bunch of monkeys and pesky kids. Watch and wait. I've got to ask, Manion, why is everybody treating Edward like someone special? <laughs> that is Habilis, our first tool maker. He has become like a god to us. Oh my gosh, he looks like Edward. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> there is a prophecy that he will return one day. My people think that Edward could be Habilis. <laughs> Did you tell him he's just a goofy kid? <laughs> 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 
well, <laughs> yes, I did, but they're still not sure. This is exactly the time that the prophecy predicted he would come. Uh, don't fight it, guys. Just go with it. <laughs> you are becoming a little annoying, little bro. Yeah, little teeny pint-sized bro. <laughs> <laughs> Teasing? Ooh, 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 ooh. Huh? They want to know what fate you desire for these two. Fate? That's a bad thing, right? Oh! Ah, uh, what are my choices? Well, you can have them locked up or banished. Hmm, locked up or banished. Two really good choices. Edward! What's this, Manion? They are challenging you to a slingshot competition. All right, you two are so saved. Where do pterodactyls live, Manion? High up in the mountains. And could someone actually ride a pterodactyl? If they had the lodestone, yes. But it's safe in my cave. Dude, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's see what this lodestone can really do. Yeah, it's got to be better than watching Edward being worshipped. Show it, show it, show it, show it. Just get on with it. All right, now dance. <laughs> Maybe you have to be more specific. Okay, uh, do some dubstep trip hop. Hick must have followed us here. After him! Oh, after him fast! At last I have it. Power over the creatures of the lost world! <laughs> They'll be okay? Tyrannosauruses can look after themselves. I mean the boys. <laughs> Not my problem. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, dude! I didn't pack any spares! Oh, I'll never let anyone cut down another tree as long as I live. Which may not be very long. Maybe that'll spoil his appetite. Doesn't look like it. Any ideas? What took you so long? Jump on. How did they get in? I don't know. The lodestone is the only way in or out. So now he's got the lodestone, 
He'll be able to get out again. With a pterodactyl, just like my vision. Hmm. The pterodactyls are killers, but very stupid ones. All they need is a leader, and there will be an indestructible force of evil. And now they've got one. We have to stop him, somehow. Quiet, my pretty. What fine teeth and talons you have. I bet you could do a lot of damage with those. Now, hold still while we get to know each other. Now fly, fly, my pretty. Together we are going to conquer the world. But first, we will destroy those Skinners once and for all! <laughs> Dude, what is this place? It was Habalis's workshop. I noticed it this morning. I can build something useful with this stuff. Yeah! 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 
course I'm hurt, you idiot! Oh, I'll miss all this. Yeah, reality's gonna be a shock for you. Hmm, they want Edward to stay and be their leader. They want what? Well, it makes sense. You'd stay here? Where I'm respected. Uh, what'll we tell Mum? Tell her. Tell her. Nah, I'll tell her myself. <laughs> totally fooled you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really touched, guys. But you can do better than me. After you. Boss, this is the last time you will ever get in my way. Okay, well, lend me help. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me home. I used to think my race and your race were very different, but we are indeed brothers. Safe journey now. Jump! My way, you hiccuping nincompoop! Uh, boss, I wouldn't sit on that if I were you. Couldn't happen to nicer people. <laughs> <laughs>